Hello everyone, I'm Dr. John Nabibi, the Medical Director of the WV Fertility Center. Um, today we'll be continuing on the series we started uh, last time on factors that affect uh, the outcome of an IVF program. Um, for those of us who uh, probably have not watched the first uh, video, just to do a quick recap. We said, uh, we talked about the age factor, um, which uh, affects the quality of the egg, um, and that uh, the younger a woman is, the higher the quality of egg, and then the higher the outcome. Right? And that if women above the, get to the age of 35 and above, there's a significant reduction in the, um, in the outcome, which is because of the reduction in the quality um, of the egg. All right? And so today we'll be talking about um, the sperm factor. All right? Um, the sperm factor also does play a very significant role in the outcome of an IVF program. And if the quality of the sperm is not good, then it will reduce the chances of having a good quality embryo that will lead to implantation and, uh, and a positive pregnancy result. All right? And what do we look at when we're talking about quality uh, sperm? You know, the sperm parameters that we look at include the count, the motility, and the morphology. But when it comes to quality, the two factors that we look at are the motility and uh, the morphology. Um, what we consider as normal motility, we have motility is broken down into the rapid motility, uh, sluggish, and then the non-motor. Um, once you have um, active sperm cells that are above 32 percent, we consider that as normal. And then for morphology, morphology talk, talks about the abnormality with the sperm cells, whether they have two heads, whether they have two tails, whether they have two necks, or, or, or so. Now, once you have a normal sperm cell that has one head, normal overhead, head, that has a neck, all right, that has one tail, normal form. Okay, that we call that on, we, we say that is a normal, uh, normal sperm cell. Now, four percent and above is considered uh, is considered normal. All right. So the the more you have more, the, the more they are abnormal sperm cells, the less likely the chance of success. All right. The more the more you have, uh, the more active sperm cells you have, the higher your chance of success because these are what determine um, the quality of of the sperm cells. All right, and then we also do have what we call DNA fragmentation, and this cannot be determined by the routine seminal fluid analysis um, that that we do. It's a special test that is done to determine DNA uh, fragmentation when that is suspected, particularly if um, we we have we don't have fertilization occurring after what should have been a normal process with the with the seminal fluid analysis that was done, then DNA fragmentation can be done to find out if there are any cha challenges there. And so that is why it's very important for men to go through the seminal fluid analysis. Although they are going to go through the IVF program. But we use the seminal fluid analysis to prognosticate um, what the outcome would be. All right. And so, if the semen parameters are, are, are low, particularly the motility and the morphology, what we normally would do is to place these patients on supplements. All right. It would take for about three months to six months, and then the sem seminal fluid analysis is uh, repeated. And hopefully for a lot of these patients, there is an improvement in the motility and the morphology. All right. And uh, when we want to do the, the, the um, treatment itself, we would um, sometimes go ahead to do ICSI, what we call the intracellular sperm injection. And uh, that helps us to pick up uh, more um, viable sperm cells to use for the procedure. With these, it helps to uh, improve the outcome of the treatment. All right. So we will talk about the, the sperm factor today. 
and I believe that this information has been helpful. Um, next time we'll talk about another factor that affects um, the um, the rate of outcome, the rate of success of um, an IVF program. All right. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.